Hi guys, I'm Plate here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool glitch uh, that I think would be really cool for you to watch and probably try it yourself. Here I am on the place where you first spawn into the Dreadnought, and what I'm going to be showing you is how to get into Oryx's throne room in Patrol. This is the, the non-raid version of the throne room where you fight Oryx initially, and this is easy, most easiest done on a Titan. And there's a specific reason I'm doing this glitch, which I will show you guys at the uh, very end of the video. And this glitch uh, was found by John Smith around in August, I believe, of last year. And uh, I'm covering this now because it's, uh, there's a specific reason uh, for that, which I'll discuss later. And what you want to do is you want to lean against the right wall because if you do that, it will give you a little bit more boost. You want to sword into it because into the like top of the doorway because it's on a slant, and you want to do this so you can get recover your boost. And from here, you want to just jump to the very top of this room. With this room, uh, you just want to walk to the very end, and unfortunately, I slip. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if you slip because it's a very simple. Uh, in case you slip, uh, you just want to go to the left side and just climb on the wall, and you just want to jump to the very top. This uh, this area I think is really cool, and there's uh, the reason for this video is because I want to sh just quickly tease what tomorrow's video is going to be, but I want to do it in a really nice way. Uh, I think you guys, uh, but just tell me what you guys think of it. So this is just what this is almost like a repost of what people other people have found before, but then I'm gonna add my version on it in a different video just to show you like what has been done and then what could be done later to improve it. You know. And there you go, that's the uh, tunnel that you'd normally go through to fight Oryx, and it's all dark and stuff. What you want to do is you want to jump to it, and you want to go to the very end, and at the very end it's actually light because the effect ends, and you just want to go to the other side and uh, just go to the very end there. Now from here it can get a bit tricky because you can't see it, but there is a platform on the right side, and you want to go to this platform. And you want to step on it. It's a bit tricky. Just, I guess, just have a uh, just picture a picture where it could be. And once you get to there, uh, everything will go light, of course. Now you want to go through that hole in the wall underneath, and you want to come to like where you would think of the middle is, like underneath the rocks. And you can easily tell because the light ahead is uh, where you want to stop. And you just want to keep jumping up until you go through the water and land right on this platform. From here you want to pull out your ghost and you can occasionally see it. Um, there's like a little gap in the wall and you want to jump here. You, uh, It's like a little outcropping of rocks. Like a, like if you sort into it you should land on it and you should not move. And here I did land on it. And from there you want to just want to jump back and up into the air. And from there you just want to, uh, when you jump up in the air you just want to go to where you can like see through stuff. Like uh, it's brown as opposed to black and that's where you want to go through. It's a bit tricky, and I just, it's more like the things like if you do it, you'll get used to it, and then you just, you know, you just can, can just keep doing it constantly. Well, from there, uh, you just want to go, you want to switch to a rocket launcher because you want to kill yourself as soon as you touch the checkpoint. And once you've hit the checkpoint for the Altar of Oryx, just a lock bar yourself. And once you do that, you'll spawn inside the map, and you can fully explore this. Now, this area itself is pretty nice to explore. When you're fighting Oryx in the mission, it's kind of hard to have a general idea of what's going on around you. And if you have like 30 seconds after you stop fighting Oryx, just to look around. You have these four pillars here that look like um, something you'd see in a satanic ritual with like a nice circle in the middle. <coughs> and uh, that's where Oryx would uh, technically kill himself or take himself. And I really like the uh, like the aesthetic of the cannon there. Although it's kind of weird because the place that we drop off on the Dreadnought should be, you know, visible. But... For some weird reason, it's not, I guess, alternate dimension or something like that. And you can actually see the aesthetic of the ship a bit more because they're a bit, like, outwards. You can see how the ship would uh, look. It's really cool. I really find it. And the, the architecture of the ship itself looked like, like the door and the pillars. Here you have, like, the stand where Oryx put down his, his like, sword to launch his, uh, like, cannon. Like, uh, the, like, the blast. I didn't have a young old towel equipped. Uh, else I would have, that would have been, like, an interesting uh, thing to... <laughs> do i might make like an animation out of it and you have like this room which is like something technological looks like something you find in like i don't know rasputin's vault or something i never really uh expect to found it here on the dreadnought <laughs> I, I don't know it might be something to do with like the vex or stuff but the real reason i'm here is uh, for, uh as you can 
as you're going to see in a few seconds, I actually got outside the map and I got on the other side of this wall. And I think I'll show you guys that tomorrow. But until then, I'm out. Stay tuned.